Prosecuting attorney's office just released data on charges filed last month, and they tell us a lot. King County filed more than 764 criminal charges in January. Breaking these numbers down for us is Fox 13's Nia Wong, who spoke with the prosecuting attorney's office this afternoon. She joins us live from the newsroom. So, Nia, what are you learning? We cover crime on our newscast, but it's only a fraction of what the King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office handles. Behind the scenes, they say they're filing between 20 to 30 felony cases every day. While the King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office says the charges they filed this January have been about the same as this time last year, they say recently they've seen more gun crimes. Most big cities uh, saw a rise during the pandemic, and that's a concern, but that's why every day we're, we're filing those gun crimes. Spokesperson uh, Casey McNerthney says their new gun violence prevention unit announced last month wants to have a summit with law enforcement and community groups. To try to address those crimes before they get to our desk, because we can keep charging gun crimes, but I Ideally, we want to get those crimes to stop before they happen. A bulk of the cases handled last month involved violent crime and repeat property crime. Domestic violence made up nearly 19% of all charges filed last month. And McNerthney says as they file those cases, he says survivors can reach out to the prosecuting attorney's office for help. We have victim advocates and people who can help with protection orders and many different options because we, we don't want people to feel like they're alone or unheard in a domestic violence situation. When it comes to property crime, there were 98 related charges involving stolen cars last month. Every day we're charging vehicle thefts and vehicle prowls because those are unfortunately some of the most common crimes that we see in King County. Other new units focused on economic and gender-based crimes continue to file charges every day. The focus for King County prosecutors is not only violent crime, which is the bulk of, of what we're addressing, but also repeat property crime because we don't want businesses to leave Seattle or any part of King County. Anyone with information on crime should contact police. The King County Prosecutor's Office files charges based on cases they get from police investigators. Live in the newsroom, Neil Wong, Fox 13 News.